You're listening to the Bryony Kennedy Lifestyle Edit, brought to you by Adorn Cosmetics. Welcome to episode 11 of the Bryony Kennedy Lifestyle Edit, and we're talking all things healthier cooking. I don't know why I'm even in this episode, because I don't cook, Um, but I have the lovely Jackie with me who does. So... I mean, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I know. I was going to say this would be, yeah, this is good. This is actually the Jack episode. I um, should have had my husband here, if I'm honest. It's not because the- I can't. I just refuse to. Yeah, no, I know. It's, you are a good cook when you want to, want to, when you try and make an effort. But you are time poor, so <laughs> I understand that. As a lot of people are, I am also yeah. now very time poor. So um, a lot of what I cook now is really from muscle memory, <laughs> shall I say. I think I do it in my sleep. You're an autopilot. Yeah, I pretty much am yep. a zombie most of the time now. When you I'm do cooking. have five kids, you can't be having nothing or they'll start chomping on each other's arms um, well, and turning into cows. you know, there is a certain um, positive outcome in that, that there's less people in the house to feed, but mm. against the law. So <laughs> instead of that, in the absence of um, moving down that direction, dark direction. I thought it would be really good because we had our episode a couple of weeks ago about um, gut health. Yes. So we spoke about the importance of gut health and how it influences our overall well-being, Mm -hmm. um, about the importance of potentially going and having someone look more into um, any issues that you might be having to see if there's other other sort of underlying things other than maybe just having a bit of a hard night the night before mm. on the on the source. Self-inflicted. Correct. Um, or having a bit of a dodgy vindaloo mm. down at the um, mm. local Indian. Um, there might be ongoing gut problems that you could be having and so therefore making sure you always go and seek professional advice is really important. Absolutely. So we talk, spoke a lot about what sort of really are good foods mm. to be having for healthy guts and we spoke about the importance of whole foods, yes. um, the important things like like, you know, obviously nuts, veggies, fruit, you know, Absolutely. legumes, yes. as we discussed, which yes. may have a positive or <laughs> negative, negative impact oh, on yes. the bathroom. Maybe not negative for house. me, but negative for everybody. Yeah, exactly. We mm-hmm. might have effects on the plumbing, but, yes. you know, so, but they're very important. Um, things like spices mm-hmm. in cooking, how they can be really great for anti inflammatory yes. purposes. And if you don't care, antioxidants. That's right. Mm. And speaking of antioxidants, things like um, uh, dark chocolate, green Mm. tea and all those sorts of things are good for antioxidants as well for you, for for gut health. Um, And then also collagen. We spoke about how that is a great anti-inflammatory properties too. So we went through all of that in episode 10. If you haven't heard that episode, please go back and have a listen to that because I think you will find that really helpful. And um, absolutely, Brian and I certainly share a lot of our dark deep stories about our <laughs> past. Just don't be eating maybe when you yeah. listen. Don't listen. What I'm, gonna, what I'm looking forward to with this episode too is I think that if anyone's lazy with their food like me and you just grab and go, that's pretty much how I eat, um, it's about pre-planning mm. and you can still eat healthy, mm. but there's just some tips around how you can do that. Correct. Yeah. So we're going to talk a bit more about how you can actually easily integrate mm all those really good things into your diet in probably foods you already make. Yes, So this is about changing your mindset. I agree. And maybe just doing a bit of an overhaul of the pantry Mm. as well and just kind of maybe going, let's get and throw out the refined sugar. Mm. Let's get rid of that. Let's get in some of these different types of, you know, um, sugar alternatives that are still okay to have um, and then apply them to meals that you already may make. Mm. So this is not like trying to all of a sudden convince the family that they've got to go from having spaghetti bolognese Mm. to only eating, you know, yeah. oven fried chickpeas. That's it. And, and also, <laughs> if you're not sure, from a day-to-day point of view, there's some really good platforms that you can look at that can help you investigate what's the better alternatives. Or good old Google, all you need yes. to do is just say um, the best sugar for gut health. Mm. And it will come up and it will spit out some alternatives for you to investigate. So you don't have time to be reading the backs of all these labels and mm. stuff. I get that, or you're blind as a bat like me and can't see them. Um, you know, can I make the, oh. the the ingredients on the back of packets? Can I make them bigger? Yeah, it's not. I need a magnifying glass it's in the supermarket. Traumatic. It's traumatic for me now, realizing how blind I am. But you can look at these things, and you'll get those alternatives, so that you know you're saving a bit of time there. Yeah, and definitely. So I thought we might just break this down to kind of into meal times because oh, that yeah. might be an easy way to kind of think about it. So if you want to think about breakfast. 
mm. first thing in the morning and it's really important. Some people can't stomach breakfast so and some people really have to have breakfast otherwise they, really, yeah. they can't function. I have to have something in my tummy in mm. the morning otherwise I really just get this complete space cadet yeah, yeah, um, okay. and other people can't face it. So I think for the people that can't face breakfast, so mm. to speak, I think breakfast smoothies are obviously really great. So, yes. again, making sure you're working with just pretty much raw frozen fruit. Yes. Which um, is just as good as yep. fresh. It's snap frozen, yep. so don't be deluded into thinking you've got to get everything fresh. Correct. And if you have got to. fresh fruit that's starting to turn, quickly yep. throw it in a freezer bag, yeah. whack it in there because then you'll Without have the that. skin, guys. Yeah, because it'll just last so much longer, yeah. especially bananas because they do overripe so quickly yeah. before they go to the dark side. Just really grab them mm. and chop them up and whack or, them in the freezer. Or save some money and buy the ones from the markets that are mm. on, on the outer and freeze them. Yeah. So breakfast smoothies are great. Um, so, you know, you get a lot of goodness in there. Plus you can throw in all your additional supplements in there. And collagen your, powders. Collagen, super greens, maca powder, mm. extra other proteins, whatever that you might be um, needing to put in. So they're great. And they're also good when you're busy. Like yeah. I have one in the car and on my work. They're good ones. I think they're a good one to teach the kids too. Like we've mm. got one of those ninja quality yeah. things. Ninja boards. And you know, I think it's, you know, our teenage boys are constantly, like we've got two fridges and I'm not even lying, um, eat all the time and, and they're just, run, they're running out of ideas of what to eat. So I'm like, just make another smoothie, like mm. do a banana one, do a this. And they, mm. So they know now mm. and that machine, the poor thing, the motor's almost cactus again. <laughs> it's, on, it's on it run all the time. But yeah, we bought ours in COVID and it has been on regular rotation yeah, like yeah. every day. But it's, it's mm. such a, a good thing. Now, I'm even lazy to the point that is too much nonsense for me. So... Um, a friend of mine said, why don't you put all of your smoothie ingredients for the whole week mm. into little containers? Mm. So you just do it in one go, cut mm. up your whatever, whatever, and you mm. can keep it in the fridge. Oh, sorry, it has to be in the fridge, mm. in the freezer as well mm. if you wanted to because then it makes it nice and cold mm. and slushy-ish. But that way you're just dumping it and, and – turning it on and going because the whole thing for me to do that every morning is annoying. I can't cope with that. That's just too much. You don't want to peel a banana? I don't. No. It's, I think it's an ADHD thing for me. It's it's a too many decisions, okay, so I can't. If I do it in one go, yeah. it's much easier. So that would be my recommendation for That's that. That's great Definitely. Idea. Definitely go with that. And then obviously another great um, breakfast alternative with your porridge and also now you can make at-home acai bowls too. So you can buy the you acai. You introduced me to my very first... I used to call them a, a kai balls. <laughs> a kai. <laughs> whatever. It, whatever. But they are bloody delicious. I know. Our kids like them. I know. They're expensive, though, when you buy them out. They're like 25 bucks a pop. Oh, well, that's it for the week. Yeah, exactly. That's their treat. When yeah. our kids, yeah. That's what our kids ask for now. They don't ask for, like, junk food oh, treats. They ask for a kai bowl. You need to get on it, people. Yeah, they are delicious. Good. But you can make them at home. So oh, they're, they're a great they're breakfast. So, so yummy. And... They you, you up. This is this is probably for the the Victorian um, listeners. Do you remember Jan Sheedy? Yeah. Okay. So Jan name? Sheedy, she was um, well back then when I was I don't know like in my mm, might have been about twelve or something like that. She had this. She was an older lady. Mm. She had the big blonde wig, um, very well to do, and she used to teach deportment lessons. Oh yes. And yeah, so yeah. my mother felt that I needed. Bit of assistance in that area, so sent me to deportment lessons with John Sheedy. And one of the things that she mm. banged on about mm. was that we all had to eat porridge. Yes, and mm. it's never forgotten. Mm. I've never forgotten it. You must have oats every morning, girls. It's good for your skin. It's mm -hmm. good for your gut. And I'm yep. like, what is this woman banging on about? Yep, there you go. Definitely. All these years oats. ago, some people knew about it. Oats is a great breakfast table, and it really is important to try and steer clear of all those box cereals. I think, out of all of them, I probably think wheat bix is probably one of the better mm. ones. Yeah. And obviously, it's oh, pretty, the wholemeal whole ones quite yummy. Correct, and you can whole now grain. get. And you can also get gluten-free wheat bix mm. now as well and all mm. that sort of stuff. So that's probably the one of the box cereals that, you know, is still kind of deemed as okay based on the sugar content. But really you cannot go past oats. Oh, and, and they even if you're feeling a bit khaki and you don't want to eat, though, mm. like it, mm. it, it actually forces yourself to have a little bit because it really does mm. nurture and calm your stomach down. It's mm. really good for sickness. Yeah, so that's right. And you can also now, you can do all these amazing overnight oats. Yes, um, recipes too. Right, they're so muesli. good. Oh my god! So Soak it in apple. So it's not like yeah, apple 
um, sure. apple sauce, yes. apple juice. Yeah, apple mm. juice and um, grated apple yeah. and, and like all your almond milks and coconut milks. That is my go-to when yeah. I'm on holiday. Yes. Yeah. Birch and muesli. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm having. I love it. It's mm. so good. So you don't have to have porridge, a hot porridge in winter, which is also really lovely. Um, but in summertime, just having that really good um, douse of oats, but then adding all the beautiful fruits to mm. it. Yeah, um, milk alternatives if you can't have regular milk, which is so good for you. Um, it's just great for your heart. And again, if you make the so this is when I <laughs> did make stuff. Um, I have the beauty of my gorgeous husband who is. Um, home dad now so he mm. does all the cooking that's why I, I it's not like we don't eat it so i've got a beautiful husband that does it for us now mm. but i would make a big bowl of the birch and muesli and mm. it would last about a week mm. so then everyone could just spoon it out so it's another one that you can just do a big batch of it and it's just delicious and yep. everyone can help themselves yep no that's a great one so it's easy to have a healthy breakfast mm. i mean eggs and omelets eggs mm. are still such a really wonderful self-contained mm. nugget of protein mm. um with all good fats in them yep. um if you're you know not obviously as long as you're not vegan mm. um but they're so good and omelets are yep. so hearty you know you make up an omelet and you're you know put, throwing in some chopped you know spinach um bit of you know trout you know mm. smoked trout or mushrooms in particular yeah. so makes it makes them really dry. hearty yeah so they fill you up you know a little bit of grated cheese if you can as well or you can go with a lactose free cheese or something like that um or some ham if you need a little bit of meat in there but mm. such a great breakfast yeah and you can that or you know some scrambled eggs or just fried egg and one of the things that i did with the boys when i was teaching them to try to get them to cook was i just get them to crack an egg into a mug mm. and then they just put that in the microwave mm. and then they could i cheese or whatever you want to do on the top yep. of it um or slice a bit of avocado on the top of it or something like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so just whack it in the microwave you don't even have to worry about your kids burning themselves on the stove yeah just make sure they know they can't put aluminium in the goddamn microwave yep. that's, that's, um you know and then cool. yeah yeah well that's it so they they often will do that now mm -hmm. no it's a great one eggs are such a great you know um, you know positive food for, for people to Can have I make a small admission when i was a teenager i mm -hmm. thought i would um I was very early teenage years. Mm. I thought I would boil myself an egg and I put it in the microwave. <gasps> I didn't know that you had you just, it, like without any you didn't put it in water in the microwave, you just popped the egg on the plate, the well, rotating yes. lazy Susan in the microwave yes. and you watched the egg in, in yes. inside the shell going around. Correct. And, and I left uh -uh. and luckily I left <laughs> the uh, I can't believe I'm admitting this. I left the kitchen luckily and then I hear this almighty bang. The microwave doors flown oh. open and there was an egg omelette all over the kitchen. Oh. And Jesus Christ, did I get um, I, to try and clean that place up before my mum and dad discovered what I did? That was, that was a lot. Oh, it was a panic. It was, was a panic. It was. It was. So don't, don't, don't. Yeah, that's <laughs> really stupid. Um. <laughs> Um so I think look breakfast is easily, you know, easily um incorporating good proper and you just your concentration's better throughout the mm. day, you feel fuller for longer. Have breakfast for goddamn dinner yeah. too. I love yeah. that. Oh look, I could yeah, have breakfast all day. So breakfast, 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 just get rid of some of that sugary crap that we all don't need and mm. replace it with just really good whole foods. Um, now, things like pumpkin soup, which I think everyone makes, mm. I think, you know, yep. where you can, this is an easy one because things like adding turmeric and ginger and cumin. Mum can do it this time. Yes. <laughs> As we were talking in the last episode, my mum just throws every healthy spice into every meal that doesn't make sense. So you can yep. do turmeric for this mum. Yep, yep. So those sorts of spices are really good for gut inflammation mm. so throw that in whack all that in along with obviously red lentils is really good in yes. because yes. you yes yep. so i mean as much as my kids will look at everything i make and go what's in it mm. and i'll call it pumpkin soup oh, yeah but what's in it yeah they know is there actually they pumpkin know. in this they know you. yeah i mean you know what are you gonna do but um i'm doing everything i can to make them move out mm. and they still hang around <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, things like those, things that you can disguise in soups, which are great. And then you can also throw an extra whack of, say, like a pure collagen in that yes, too. Yes. So that's easily hidden. It doesn't taste and it just really just gives you absolutely such great, you know, such great properties mm -hmm. in it. And particularly at this time of year with it being colder, yeah. um, a really hearty dinner. So you're already making pumpkin soup. Think about adding those things into mm. it to help with that gut health. If you've got kids you need to fill up too, I find that a good sourdough goes well with oh, that. So sure. just, just 
instead of plain normal bread, mm. sourdough yep. is just divine for yep. that. Sourdough is really good. I do um, our pumpkin soup. I do with sourdough, and then I'll top it with like lactose free cheese, mm. and I grill it under the grill. Mm. So you get that nice sort of grilled, Yum. you know, brown cheese yes. on top of the sourdough, God, and they I'm dip, hungry. dip that into the pumpkin. <laughs> soup. Even lunchtime, I think it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's an easy one because I'm sure everyone makes that. Um, but one thing I do have found that does incorporate those spices, which I've been making a lot of lately, especially with winter, and I just love roasting vegetables more than life itself. Brussels sprouts and mm. roasted cauliflower. Oh my lord, what a taste and shape sensation! I don't know. Since. Maybe you and I are the only ones that love Brussels. Probably everyone's tuning out about no, now. No, roasted Brussels yeah, sprouts. I agree. It's, they get such a nutty yeah, flavour to them, and I mean, it's I not had them last night. So did I. Oh, I bought some for lunch today. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is so. This is my go-to mm-hmm. salad with roasted cauliflower and Brussels sprouts for those playing at home. So I will roast that with cumin and turmeric. I'll just put them a sheet pan, which is so easy. Just chop everything up and just put line it with mm. baking paper, put it on a big sheet pan. People can do it with any veggies. Like any this, veggies yeah. you could do this, but just sprinkle it with cumin and turmeric. Do you put baking pa- paper down? Yes, I do. Yep, yep. Um, and then toss that with some obviously good quality olive oil and salt and pepper, mm. um, the kosher salt, not all sea salt, not... Mm fine table salt obviously and whack that in the oven usually for about 35 minutes till it gets all that nice char and you know so you don't have to parboil or pre-boil no, or no, no this is raw okay, as it comes mm. whack it all in there after you've cut it up into little florets mm. like and you i generally too with the bro, um the bro, uh, sorry the brussels sprouts um too you can just slice them mm. rather than putting them in quarters oh yes mm. yeah 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 and they sort of come apart and all Yum. the bits oh my gosh mm. okay so that comes out of the oven and then I mix that with some boiled brown basmati rice. Oh, yeah. And brown basmati rice yeah, has nice the lowest too. GI yep. of all the rices. And low GI people means that it's in your system, you're full of for longer, basically. Correct, correct. So um, mix it with that roasted flaked almonds, mm. chopped up dried cranberries. Oh, yum. Mm. So a bit of chilli flakes mm. goes in there. You mix all that together that just good. to give it a bit of heat. And it is um, mm. The taste is so yeah. good. Throw in some extra salt and pepper if you need a seasoning and what have you else, but it is really great. And it's a great base recipe, like I'll put that with grilled fish or yeah, just have yeah. it its own, mix it with a tin of tuna if you're bringing it for lunch mm. the next day. Um, you can still have you know, yeah, that's a good roast one. on the side, whatever you're doing in terms of meats or proteins, um, really, really good. It's a go-to and it's pretty much everyone bar one person in our house loves that salad. Yeah. And it's the 15-year-old boy. Yeah, Pause for reaction. Mm. I know, shock horror. Mm. But it is really, Yum. really good and it's full of axi- antioxidants mm. and vitamins C as well and K properties in that recipe. So yum, yum, yeah. yum. I will actually I'll put I'll, I will put that recipe on the blog. I was gonna say, I think you might need to. Yeah, yeah. The, on, this is the Bee Health blog, by the way. Yes. We will find Jack Snacks. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of sweet stuff up there at the moment. Unfortunately, be... you don't come with the recipe because that would be great too. Well, if I come into your kitchen to yes. cook it for you, I think that's going to be just a bridge too far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, lasagna. Everyone loves lasagna, yeah, whether favorite. it's vegetarian lasagna yes. or meat-based lasagna. Um, obviously, if you're using the meat one, you're looking at grass-finished organic beef, which mm-hmm. is better for you, um, and it has all the good quality fats and proteins in it, which is obviously good for your tummy as well. Um, grass-fed meat is higher in omega-3 yes. as well, so um, that's why that's good for gut inflammation. Um, and then I would, as you have done this too, and mm-hmm. I think you would maybe even gave me this idea initially, I can't remember back way back when, but just to hold back a bit of the meat and add yep. um, lentils. Yes into that yeah. mix too when yeah. you're making up your bolognese sauce. Absolutely. So mm. with the bolognese sauce, now this started for me when, um, I mean, I'm not a huge meat eater, I have to be honest, but also it came from a place where we just didn't have the money. So, and it might be pertinent now for people, but what I used to do and I still do now was I would have a little bit of mince or I'd halve the mince so it would last longer and mm. then I would use a tin of brown Lentils. Brown they've already lentils. been. They've already yes. been soaked. soaked. Mm-hmm. So you need those ones, and because the, they're tiny little, they sort of almost look like the little, um, you know, mi- mi- minced meat. I've got lots of words. Co- correct. That's mm-hmm. it. So the, no one ever knows, and no. that's 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 what I do. And then it, it saves money. It's mm-hmm. healthier for you. It builds out the. It makes it mm-hmm. fills up the yeah. um, ingredients and actually helps for it to you know stretches it. Yep. Stretches well. absolutely stretches the um, your recipe as well, so it lasts longer for everybody to freeze some. Have some later. 
Yeah, no, that's a, that's a that's a really good one. And then also um, bay leaves are really good for you too. Mm, so okay. if you're doing a vegetarian version or a meat version, throwing some bay leaves in while you're – How um, do you do it so that you don't get a mouthful? Well, you've got to put them in whole. So and I put the whole bay leaf. Out. Yeah, and then you, just before you serve it, you just – or you I construct your lasagna, you just pull out the bay okay, leaves good. and put it to the side because you're not supposed to eat that. No, I have had one in my mouth. <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> hanging from, yep. from a tooth going, like, something's wrong with the lasagna <laughs> um, and then obviously if you're making a vegetarian version you can use obviously using spinach broccoli chickpeas cannoli beans um, are fantastic as well so um, yeah just classic man slice pumpkin just go 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 hog wild yeah. on your vegetarian lasagna. So, and again, you can add in your extra supplements and collagen powders yeah. and proteins or whatever else that you're doing um, in there that help with the cooking things that you can disguise yeah. stuff in is what we're after. Definitely for the kids. That Definitely. Is. Um, this is a really popular one, a dinner one as well. Mexican taco bowls. Mm. This goes down an absolute treat and it is really good because I can make it gluten-free and I can also swap out the different proteins um, based on if everyone's home because we've got meat eaters, we've only got we've got pescatarians and then we've got vegetarians and then we've got people who just come Is it like a burrito bowl? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, mixing. That's right. So um, obviously, you've got you can use beef, you can use mm. prawns, you can use chicken, yep. you can use fish, whatever, or you can just have vegetarian versions. So um, now the Mexican spice blend. Don't buy the commercial Mexican yeah. spice blend from the supermarket, or you can get natural organic ones from the, mar- the market 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 mm. um, if you want to, because. You know, but don't get the commercially bought mixes yeah. and spice mixes that and add them to your meat or your prawns or whatever you're doing your chicken. It's so full of MSG. Yeah. It's so yeah. full of additives, salt, not good salt. Yeah, you know, because you just want to drink ten liters of water. Oh, after. It is vile. Yeah. So just, I just those sachets sadly and it's a waste mm. um and therefore i just now will buy like tortillas on their own or just straight tacos yeah. if we're buying those um i don't buy them, don't buy the milk kits because it's all just you don't need it you don't, no you waste. don't you don't need it and if you're the packaging's waste yeah the, the whole stuff that's in there's waste it's, it's so just much waste. easier to make yeah and, and i think too if you've got kids that are fussy mm. um or kids maybe on the spectrum um i think these kinds of recipes are great um like the burrito bowls mm. too because mm. it's all compartmentalized mentalized yes. um piles of things cr- involved. Yeah, yes. so they feel that they can I know my youngest feels that he can just sort of grab bits that he wants mm. from each section. Yes. Doesn't oh, like messy so dinners as he calls them. Messy no that's right. And the great thing so you can use that so the Mexican mix that you can make yourself, you can use that using garlic powder, ground cumin, ground coriander, chili powder, smoked paprika, um, cinnamon as well and cayenne. Okay, so you're going to have to do a blog on that. Yeah, so that one's going to be, I can put together my Mexican spice mix that can mm-hmm. go into that. And just, again, you can make a whole heap <clears> of that up yeah. and you just keep it in a tub, in a container or whatever, tub of a container or jar yeah, in absolutely. the pantry and just grab out tablespoons of that, you know, when you need it. But please avoid <coughs> that. Made stuff because it is absolute rubbish. Um, and sometimes you can also, if you dry roast them in the pan as well, release all the aromats as mm. well before you add them into, you know, your your proteins and what have you. But, I mean, building that into your protein and then you build up your bowl with, you know, I have corn that you might mix with some red onion and tomato and cucumber yeah, all yeah. finely chopped up and you can build your little bowls. You yeah. use obviously black beans are fantastic yes. for the Mexican yes. bowls as well. Yeah, Again, nice. a, bit of, a bit of brown rice as well. Yep. Um, avocado mm-hmm. is great, always goes down a treat. Coriander chopped up. Oh, yeah. And you just – Oh, no, yeah. iceberg lettuce is great for this yes. as well because it adds an extra colour and it's, you know, crunchy mm. and, and it just adds a whole And leftovers. Mm. you got any leftovers that, of that, mm. you can then put it in a little um, cos lettuce leaf mm. and that's like your tacos. If yeah. you don't want to use the tacos, you cannot use that as well. Correct. Yeah. Great. Mm. So Mexican bowls are fantastic or burrito bowls are really, really terrific. And then, you know, buying, you know, good quality um, organic corn chips or something like that that you can use yes. as a bit of a dipper because yep. everyone loves to dip stuff. Um, in the bowl. So that's always been on high rotation Mm -hmm. in our house and that's a really easy midweek dinner instead of doing the traditional tacos. Yeah, I agree. um, I think doing... Which are messy anyway. Correct. And mix, you know, so yeah, I find mixing bowls are always going off really well. Um, Sweets and desserts, Mm. which everyone loves. Yes. Mm. Again, that's an all-day option. (laughs) (laughs) Like breakfast. Breakfast and dessert. Yeah, that's that's it. I mean, when I go out for dinner... Mm. I look straight at the, the dessert section and, and work out what you're having. I correct, I look back. Work back for dessert. Mm-hmm. So wise. 
Oh, yeah, beyond the New Year's. I know. Right? Um, so this is what I'll be making a lot lately because, again, it's winter, it's cold, but my apple crumble yeah. that I yes. use, um, which, you know, is God, such a – love that or an apple pie. Yeah. yeah. Correct. So this is a staple that most households would usually love. And so, again, I just – green apples, I just break them down in yeah. some water and lemon juice and cinnamon. I don't add sugar. Yeah. Don't need that. You don't need to because the, the – the apples do have some sweetness, mm. even though the green apples. Especially if you're going to add maybe a bit of cream or ice cream or cream to it anyway. Correct. So, yeah, don't add any sugar to the sweating out of the apples. And then the topping, again, I make with oats. Mm. I put I put oats. I'll put gluten-free plain flour, okay. almond meal I'll put in there yeah. as well, which is really good. Obviously more cinnamon, yeah. sometimes coconut. Okay. These are really nice. And make a really sort of, um, obviously, with your, you know, butter or your butter alternatives. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I might put a little bit of coconut sugar in that. It sort of mm. caramelizes yeah, it a little yeah. bit and sort of when it, cause when it, the topping seeps into the mm. apple and its juices, when Yum. it's in the oven, it kind of creates a nice, like, natural yeah. caramel. I know. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. That is such a great. That's a po- such a popular dessert. Oh, again, I think there's only one person in our house that actually doesn't have that, which is again straight. There's always one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't have this many people no. without one. Without we're getting a complete array on everything. But apple crumble is a really great oh. dessert option, and you can really pimp up some of the really good ingredients. ingredients replace all of what would be That's traditional yeah. flowers and bleach flowers and yeah. sugars and what have you, and just incorporate these alternative mm. ingredients instead. You're still having a really beautiful, yummy dessert, but it's so much better for you. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you're not sure how to create these or get these alternatives to something, you know, just, just look it up. I mean, you've got Google. Goodness yeah. me, it's amazing what it, you know, what, what's a healthier alternative to, for an apple crumble topping? Yeah. And you will get that. It'll, right. it'll come up with it. So, yeah. you know, you don't have to sort of be going through all these recipe books and, and speaking to someone, just Google these and things. all the ingredients you can get at the supermarket. Yeah. You don't have to go off to some far-flung place to go and retrieve no. something from the side of a mountain. No. Um, no. It's all in the supermarket these days. I mean, even like my chocolate crackles, I found, you know, a, a healthy way of producing chocolate crackles, yeah. which, I mean, they were such a great party staple from way back, and I've now got that on the blog okay. as well. You can go and look that up if you want. The protein balls is oh, like yeah. Yeah. the food of the decade. Yeah, I have them. They're, they're on yeah. rotation in my house again lazy lazy eater so mm. i've got to have lots of snacks and that's one thing that mm. is always my poor husband makes up a massive batch that lasts a couple of weeks and um all of us just grab grab them because they're just good especially if you have got a bit of a sweet tooth and yes. you don't want to, yeah. to be eating the chocolate all the time Correct. yeah it's a great option and the mid-after you know the after school snacks mm-hmm. mid-afternoon sort of kind of slump that you go into protein balls are so good um and so everything from coconut sugar dark chocolate almond meal that you can put in there, coconut flowers, um, you know, dried cranberries, dried other dried mm. fruits, you know, grated carrot, you know. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is like the, yeah. the, the, the ingredient of my life. Um, dried apricots, all those things. Mm. I'm not suggesting you put all that in one protein yeah. ball, by the way. Please. Mum, don't. <laughs> it's, don't not, put it, it's not a recipe for one protein ball. We're saying these are the sorts of ingredients yeah. you can put into protein yeah, balls. They're, just, they're, just, they're, they're like a soup. Yeah. Because you can do anything with them. Correct. And make them any which way Correct. with anything that you want, as yep. long as you've got something that will make it all stick together. Correct. Coconut oil, you know, maple syrups, all those sorts of things mm. help to bind all those ingredients together. So just do a bit of research. There's a gazillion million protein mm. balls recipes on the um, on the internet and we have a couple on our B side as well. So and just – and then you yeah. whack in a bit of B as well just for good – I think it's, I think that's what it is. It's about um, preparing for the week mm. and I know for me – um, you know, I used to sort of live by the whole I'll eat when I'm literally fainting and nearly throwing up, <laughs> right? And that's not ideal. Like, no. It's not ideal. So I've had to really rethink, especially as I've gotten older and I'm menopausal and all those fun things, right. um, I've had to rethink about, you know, how I actually want to eat versus how I should be eating. So mm. for me, it's having the protein balls on tap. Um, I'll have carrot and cucumber and any other stick you can think of mm. in a thing cut up already yes and i'll always have a hummus dip there now you can just you can get one or you can make them they're really easy with the chickpeas mm. just put in your, your ninja or some sort of blender chickpeas your olive oil a bit of salt mm. and yep yeah, and and Many even a bit, bit of gar- yeah a bit of garlic if you want to as well mm-hmm. um jesus god you look at my basic recipe <laughs> <laughs> if you want to if you want briny's basics 
variety I, of ways in, Jack's, as opposed to Jack's snacks. Yeah, Jack's <laughs> over the top snacks. I'm like, a, I'm like that three. What is it? That three, the three recipe, yes. the three ingredients. Three, three ingredients. Right, recipe. that's me. Okay, we'll go back. Mine, to then mine aren't that complicated. I just, uh, I'm on a roll, and I'm like, ah, oh, throw in a bit of this, and I'll throw in a bit of that. All of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> it's just putting me to shame. Okay, so just choose which hummus you want to make um and then i think it's also um giving you the opportunity to have the kids to grab those things as well um and then even making your own little sauces and stuff like i love i do love making um plenty of happening mental block here, basil, um, pesto, oh, pesto, our own pestos, yeah. yeah. So I'll get, you know, the mm. basil and then the olive oil and the garlic or even a bit of chilli. And then you can freeze these things into little ice cubes, the yes. little silicon ice cube Definitely. trays. Um, so I think it's looking at what can you pre-make. So get your week set up for your smoothies, put everything in a little container so your breakfast is done, mm. you've got your protein balls ready, you've got some veggies in sticks with a dip to have with it and then, you know, maybe look at some meals that you can also, soups, mm. sauces, whatever it is mm. um, that you can freeze and then it's all there ready to go. Yep, absolutely. And I think definitely the like, key is to have a lot of these things chopped up because, I mean, I could put a out of, you know, an experiment I just whacked like kept the watermelon whole wrapped in the plastic yeah. and it sat in the fridge correct do you think it got touched yeah. for three days yeah. no but if I put it in a big mm-hmm. container already chopped up it will go That's in it. like a day yeah. and a half yeah same with cans like all, the, all those things yeah, yeah the kids do not want to cut break saute you know grate anything no. they just want it literally fed to them it's ridiculous but there you have it yeah um and speaking of there you have it I think we've covered up a few things today yeah. hopefully we've inspired you with some recipe ideas or more so how to maybe adapt your existing recipes that you already cook mm. with some healthier options in terms of ingredients and how that is really going to be um, a great impact on your you know future gut health if that's what you want Absolutely, to Absolutely, yeah. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. If you have some recipe ideas mm-hmm. and you want to share them with us, please. Please keep it basic for me. Yeah, keep it three ingredients yes. <laughs> Anyone that wants to chocolate, elaborate. chocolate and chocolate will Thank you. be all yes. she requires. Um, but you can get in touch with us um, either by Instagram, um, probably on either Dawn or Be Health as well. You can contact us on Instagram and Facebook mm. and let us know um, what you think of your recipe ideas or what you've got that you can share with everyone else because that always helps because sometimes you just go, oh, that's a good idea. Didn't think of that before. And I'm all open to anyone just sending me food. I'm, I'm open to that too. Exactly. Feel free to send me whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks, B. That was a great. Um, that was a great chat. And um, yeah, you've been listening to the Briny Kennedy Lifestyle. Edit. You've been listening to the Briny Kennedy Lifestyle Edit, brought to you by Dawn Cosmetics, luxury without the guilt.